Are you in the club? Hey guys, on today's episode, we are going to be painting some Frozen Inspired Paint by Number Masterpieces. So these are the options. So we have Elsa, Elsa and Anna, Kristoff, Anna, and Olaf, Kristoff and Sven, and Olaf. So we have to decide which ones we want to do. I think we definitely have to do this because this is sort of the classic Elsa and Anna. So this is one. And I think we'll also do this Olaf. I don't know why, I just think it's cute. And then if you guys want, you can leave me a comment and I can do some more in another video, another time. So let's open up this box and see what we have inside. Another box. It's a box inside a box. Urgh, it's half a box inside a box. <laughs> Whoa, these are teeny tiny little spaces. So if you've never done a paint by number, this will be new to you, but this is how they are. They have little numbers inside of all of the spaces and you paint them accordingly. So these, this is the one with Elsa and Anna. This is gonna be challenging. This is gonna be really challenging because the spaces are so teeny tiny. So. That's okay, we can handle it. So this is one, and the other one that we're going to do was Olaf hanging out in the sun. We should probably start with this one, it looks a little easier. <laughs> this is nice, so I thought this was instructions when I first saw it, but it's actually a little book. Frozen, a fairy tale becomes a contemporary classic. So, very nice, so that came in the little set. And we also have our paints and a brush. And there are no instructions. So I guess the instructions are that these are the numbers <laughs> and this is what they correspond with. So for example, this beach ball has a 10, 9 slash 2, 10, 9 slash 2, 10, nothing, 10, 9 slash 2. So let's look. So 9 is yellow. And two is turquoise, so I really don't even understand that. Um, let's see how they did it. I guess they want us to mix those colors together. So whenever you come across something like nine, two, and 10, that means we would mix those colors together. So this is gonna be crazy. Here's something else that is crazy. I just started opening the paint and it's kind of dried out. I don't think it should be this dry. So I might add a little water to it before we get started. This paint is not in good shape at all. Look. Oh boy. So I have some white paint, which is great. So I'm gonna use the white paint that I have. All right, so I've mixed some white and yellow. So we have a nice light yellow. I think I'm gonna use this one. And we're going to use that to paint the background.
right, so here is a look at our finished Olaf. I think it turned out pretty well, considering we had some serious paint problems. And I know that I said I was gonna do this, and I'm going to, but I'm gonna do it in another video with some color changing markers that I ordered. So stay tuned for that, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>